Okay, here we go. A bit less wind now. So with less wind around, it's much easier to fly. I can actually get some sort of smooth, faster runs and a lot more control. Got a bit of speed about it. This is still in uh, stabilised mode or uh, angle mode. I'm not really confident enough yet to try full acro mode. But I can bring it in close and hover it nice and accurately. Attempt a few coordinated turns. Great looking little tricopter though in the sky. Now for some proper FPV. And this does feel weird for me. It's pretty much my first time. Still in uh, angle mode. It's getting a few little wobbles, so maybe it could do with some PID tuning. That bandstand is starting to look rather tempting. Here we go, let's try and shoot some gaps. Oof. Lucky for those prop guards. You'll have to forgive me, I'm not a quad flyer. But this is a, a newbie's first attempt, really. It's a better run. Now this is uh, some precision flying around the rim of the roof. And I need to learn some better throttle control to stop bouncing off the ground. These are some line of sight runs to show what you could do if you were better with the uh, FPV. But I'm having lots of fun anyway. Now this, uh, I'm in horizon mode to try out the slider which sort of tilts the uh, airframe up and down instead of tilting the camera and starts to get into some weird out of control wobbles. After that little wobbly out of control event, I've checked and realised that the flight control board is actually loose. All I had to do was flex the side of the tricopter out, slip it back into a little uh, track there, and that's all solid now. That's good. You can see there's a, a micro USB connector there, so you can actually connect it up to your computer and configure it in beta flight. And as well as the USB connection, you can use your stick commands to bring up the uh, on-screen display setup menu. And you can change your PIDs and everything on the screen there. And all the other goodies that I don't really understand. Rates, yeah, I understand rates. Filtering. Uh, yeah, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble there, but if you know what you're doing, uh, you can tweak it in beta flight in the field.